This is Coffee and Cocktails with MC, a show committed to introducing you to the interesting personalities of our business community in and around Anne Arundel County. Now for today's chat, here's MC. Hi, my name is Mary Catherine, but my friends call me MC, and that's why this is called Coffee and Cocktails with MC. And today I am talking to Fred Blair, and he is the owner of The Car Guy. Good morning. Good morning, MC. <laughs> so tell us, what is or who are The Car Guys, and what do you do? Well, The Car Guys is a, um, we're an auto detail shop, a major, unique detail shop that does all types of interior, exterior, cosmetic repairs, paint correction, paint touch-up, paint bumpers, <laughs> tinting, rims, any kind of repair that an automobile goes through on a daily basis, gets door dings at the supermarket, runs into a curb at the bank, you name it, things happen, even slight collision work. Okay. bumper cover damage um, but for 18 years uh, I've had the pleasure of living my dream and doing what my passion is and that's taking care of cars so how did you get into it were you this young buck who drove a hot rod and always had to look good and so it just became your thing or did you drive a Hyundai and you just always wanted a fancy car that looked nice now, from, from day one, my, my dad, uh, when I was old enough to drive, the rules in our house was you had to have 100 bucks in the bank to cover the deductible. Now, we're talking back in the 60s, I so, Right, right, right. And uh, so I was the only one that got a job, had the 100 bucks, came to dad and said, hey, can I take the car? And he said, no, and he handed me some keys, and they were the keys to a 1962 VW Bug that didn't have tags, didn't have bumpers, didn't have this, didn't have that, and he said, there you go, get it tagged, get it insured, and you got your own car. Nice. So, that was my very first car, and just totally through the summer, restored it, got it running. Then for every birthday, Christmas, I would get a bumper or I would get <laughs> new lights or I would get whatever, you know, some part that I needed. And, uh, but being a, a, a young man that just had a passion for cars, so, you know, I must've washed it, you know, every other day kind of right. thing, you know. And um, eventually, that just became, I, I loved, couldn't stand not having a clean car. So through my whole life, until I started this business, I would be a, a bucket and a sponge hitting my cars at least once a week. Right. And um, so why not take it a step further and make some money doing this stuff? Because there might be other people who would like to have a nice car, but maybe don't have the time or quite the passion to, to do and, it themselves. And, you know, it's, it's mainly the passion. It's a very, uh, this is tedious work. It's not hard work. Right. But it's very detail oriented. And then there's levels of detailing that are, that we don't do here because we decided we would just stay with a very strong product. Right. And, and whatever our nameplate was, was thoroughness. So you can't have an express detailing for 69 bucks and expect to get anything really detailed. You're right. Get, you're getting a little dust off, you know, whatever. So, uh, but when it comes to what we do, door jams, all the nooks and crannies, cup holders, carpets, right. mats, door, you, know, you name it, we do it. So the car guy seems a little bit on nondescript or maybe it's descriptive but it's kind of a unique name uh, how why not something more personalized or, or, or do you well, well, I'm taking my car to the car guys that now how the car guys evolved was when I started the business it was called advantage car Care. okay 
And my very first ad that I ran was in the Severna Park Woods. And when they did the ad, they said, they added a little byline at the bottom, take your car, Fred Blair, the car guy. So that's how that little tagline started. Okay. So, uh, so then I, as I have built the company and hired more people, it wasn't only our employees on the it was <clears throat> the dent guy, the rim guy, the tint guy, all these subcontractors that came under my label right. had to meet our standards. So they became car guys. Okay. So they're part of the car the guys. Guy. <laughs> Alright. One of the classiest stories, um, I, I did a woman's car in Annapolis. She lived in Savannah Park picked up the car in Annapolis, detailed it, drove it to Savannah Park to her home, never met the woman for three years. Oh my gosh. She left the money on a little uh, a shelf, picked up the car, the keys were there. So one day I was at a party across the street from where her house is. She pulls up to get her mail, gets out of the car. I'm sitting there looking at her. And so I casually walked up to her and kind of startled her. I said, what a nice car. <laughs> and she looked up at me and she said, oh, don't look at my car. She says, I haven't been able to get it to my car guy. And, <laughs> I, and I looked at her and I said, her name was Marianne. I said, Marianne, I am I'm your car, car guy. guy. <laughs> and oh my, oh, Freddie, Freddie, big hug. <clears throat> so. You know, we, we have a unique trust with people where we do pick up cars, we got garage car codes, we got whatever. Uh, in addition to the car guys, I have the storage guys, which is automobile storage. So if you have a car that you want, you don't have a spot at home to put it in your garage, whatever, a collector vehicle, or whatever, we have that type of facility here. I have about 25 cars under storage. Oh, wow. And uh, it's probably $2 million worth of cars. Good Lord, I hope you have great insurance. Uh, we do. Uh, <laughs> I think that you're right. Um, people have earned, or you have earned people's trust. And especially when you do so much to their car. And, you know, I think we've, we've talked about before, um, you would think you just do high end because of the fact that you do so much, um, but you don't discriminate. Uh, you do any car. Oh, absolutely. Right? I mean, uh, you know, when you say high end, to me, uh, I drive a Honda Accord. I mean, every car has value. You're sure. And but a clean car has more, more value, value. Oh. and it makes you feel better as an owner. You're you're. You're like driving a new car. So many times people will come to us with a minivan right. that they're going to take to CarMax to trade in. And, and when they come and get the, the minivan, they'll look at the, the wife will look at the husband and go, why do we need a car payment? We just got a new right. car here. So let's drive this for another couple years. So big investment. We actually, in our brochure and in our marketing, we're, we're in the maintenance business. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we want to help maintain your vehicle so that you extend the value and the, and the net value of the car. I, um, I used to drive a 2006 Mini Cooper convertible. Yes, I remember. And uh, it paid off, new car payment and whatever. And uh, I was a horrible car owner in that I, I did not take care of it. and. When I first came here and, and met you guys, you parked way far away because I didn't want to be near <laughs> the nice cars. And I remember Joffrey, who is your son, who is also part of the business. Yes, ma'am. Um, now, you have to understand when I tell this story, it just goes to show how much pride they take in what they do. This does not mean that they're elitist, so stick with me here. He came out and he looked at my car. And he jokingly said, he's like, I, yeah, I don't even want that up on the lot. I, can't, I cannot have that being up there. No. And because he, he's looking inside, he's looking at the rims, and he was looking everywhere. He's like, I'm, 
uh-uh, I'm like borderline appalled to have that here. But it was because he saw what he could do to it. And in fact, later, you know, you guys got to work your magic on it. But um, it just goes to show that, you know, he saw it and I'm thinking, it, you know, it's an old paid off car and I'm just happy to have it and no car payment or whatever. But he's looking at it going, really, this could look really nice again, you know. And oh, an MC, your first visit, you had no idea what you were running into. No. It wasn't a car wash. No, and, and in fact, I've been told that. That's part of what, when your services are explained, is we are not a car wash. Uh, we are so much more. And it's interesting because you talk about minor body work and, and the dings and the whatever. Um, and I don't think that a lot of people realize that you do that. I mean, obviously, as you said, you have a lot of partners, people who you work with who Correct. do this sort of yeah. stuff for you. Um, and now that we're talking about it, I'm thinking, gosh, that would be really good tinted. I'm looking at my car. Um, so <laughs> I don't think people realize that, that if it's not something that's a major accident, that you're doing an insurance claim, maybe it's, it's more cosmetic, it's more you want your car to look a little bit nicer and maybe take care of that ding that happened a couple years ago, that you guys can do that. and and. It's kind of like you, you can make someone fall in love with their car again. Does that sound accurate? And, and, it, and it's a one-stop shop. Right. That's the other thing. People love the fact that they can come here and they just drop it off and we can take care of the window chip. We can take care of a rip in a seat. If you, we, we have a, a doctor who just dropped his Audi off two days ago. He calls me. He's on 97 and he's got a, a flat tire. Now he had run flat tires. So he could get here, the tire blew out. Uh, they were very expensive Blizdak tires, which we had to order for him. Name dropping, but I don't know what that is. It's, it's an expensive that. tire. Okay. And then, you know, but he dropped, we changed out his rims because he had his, his winter rims here. So we put his winter tires back on and we ended up ordering him his tire and everything. We'll be picking that up today, putting him on his car on this afternoon. But, you know, his, his life wasn't wasn't up turned upside down because of a right. flat tire. Came right here and we're taking care of it. So you're kind of like a primary care physician for an automobile. We we call ourselves you you go to the car wash MC, you go into the minute clinic. You come here oh, no. <laughs> you're coming to the Mayo Clinic. So nice. yes, we are yes. we, we consider ourselves uh, the elite, you know, just whatever yeah. happens. The, the thing that I love about the car guys, Fred in particular, is that you do quality work on beautiful cars. You do so much. Um, and if you look at some of the cars that they, they have, you're thinking, oh my gosh. But you're so laid back. Your, your employees are laid back and realistic and understanding and um, other than that one time where I was kind of ashamed for my car being so deplorable, um, and it was so traumatic, I ended up going out and getting a new car. I got a 2014 Mini Cooper convertible, which I still was just told needs some attention. Um, but at any rate, it's almost like people, when they bring their cars in, you just see, like, how can we make this better? How can we make this nicer? And so many people identify with their cars. I know I do. Um, my car was always a, a big part of me and my identity. So, you know, it feels great when... The little part of you. It was <laughs> a, <laughs> a very mini part of there me. There you go. Bum, bum, bum. We're here all day. Don't forget to tip your bartender. But um, I appreciate you explaining more about what you guys do. Because, as I said, I don't think a lot of people realize that you do the other kinds of things, the tinting and the minor body work and, and stuff like that. Um, very, very easy to work with. As you said, they'll pick you up or they'll take you back or they'll do what have you and work with your well, schedule. We're, we're, we're all about customer service. And, and the other unique thing that we do is the BWI shuttle too. Okay. So for about 16 years now, if you're flying out of BWI, you meet me at the shop, we schedule it, we take you up, drop you at your airline, detail the car, store it. When you land 24-7, we pick you up, 
bring you back, show you your clean car, you pay the bill and you're out the door. So nice. you're not you're not paying parking at the airport, you're not having potential damage at the airport, door dings, people putting their bags on top of your car or whatever, jet fuel coming out of the sky, I mean you name it. <laughs> whatever. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's that's my number one marketing tool. I mean, yes. It's huge. Business travelers and all this. And, uh, and again, we do it 24 7. And, um, early flights, late flights, weekend flights, whatever. Now, I, I think even if you just come in the first time and you just want like a normal detail or whatever, and you're not thinking you need anything great and fancy, that once you meet Fred, and you, you deal with him and you meet Joffrey, his son, who is also very, very passionate about what he does and all of their other employees, you're just going to love dealing with them and you're going to find that it's just a great experience. I know that I adore you and have loved every kind of um, experience that I've had here with my old and my new car. So. Uh, where can people find you? Are you on, and we'll get to the address in a second, but like website, Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, I'll have all this information uh, for the, you. The, the beauty of the car guy, going back to that is, you know, I branded this so simple stupid, you know, because people will go, what's the name of that, those, those detail shop, what's that, uh, the car, some cars, and then some of the car guys. So you Google car guys, we come right up, um, 4.9 stars, uh, everything's on Google, Google listings, whatever. The original carguys.com is the website. Okay. And the email is detail at the original car guys. Guys. Okay. So. I, I know you have a Facebook page. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I also think yours is the kind of business where really you're a little old fashioned. If somebody has a question or wants to find out more, call. Us, call, call. Us. Um, Fred is more apt to pick up the phone and answer your questions and, and make you feel comfortable. And you're going to get a lot, a lot more out of that than if you just poke around the website. You can find out all the services that they provide and all of their partners and everything like that on the website. But if you really want to feel like, get a vibe for how things are, give them a call. Everything's by appointment for our detailing, but you don't need an appointment to come down and get a quote. Just come on down. We encourage you to come see the shop, meet the guys, see what it's all about. Then we can really look at the car and give you a really good solid number on what it means. Awesome. Well, I thank you for your time. I really appreciate well, thank it. You. If you've heard background noise, that's because they're busy working and making cars look beautiful again and boats. I see a boat over yep, there yep. and RVs and I'm um, basically if it has wheels or can move. A anything that you can roll down here on wheels we will clean. Very good. Well this has been another episode of Coffee and Cocktails with MC. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye. Coffee and Cocktails with MC would like to thank videographer and producer Richard Schulmitz. Video editor David Russell, resident mixologist Mimi Evans of Mix and Mimi Mixology, printing and marketing materials from Forbes Printing, and head of marketing Anna Amendelaire of AKA Design. This has been Coffee and Cocktails with MC. We'll see you again next time.